Hey everybody, we're back in X4 Foundations 4.0 beta, patch 8, and this video comes to you from all the people who shamed me in when I bought the Carcatua. Yes, the in Carcatua did not go over well with the viewing audience, something about it being super slow. Well, I finally am going to buy a new freighter. I decided, you know, I'm going to get a Buffalo. And I may actually use it as a fleet carrier because I can't I can't afford a rattlesnake yet. Here's a Mercury parking. No, not a Mercury a boa. Very cool. Anyway, I can't afford a, a proper carrier yet, but we're gonna buy. So we're gonna go ahead and buy some ships. Let's see. Here we go. The Buffalo freighter. I mean, this is a cool looking freighter. We'll we'll get a better look at it once it's built, but. That's the main reason I want I want it. It's because how it looks. All right, let's uh, get it kitted out. We'll start with select minimum here. Engines. Um, I just can really do Mark One. Put some shields on it. Thrusters. Now we'll, we'll, we're going cheap with this. We're going cheap. Shields. We're going to stop off at the Talati shipyard and pick up some, you know, good shields. Turret groups, we can't, we're, we don't have a, a capital equipment license yet, so we can't do much with turret shields. So we'll just, uh, oh, we, we, can, we can't do on the large slot. Um, we could do medium here. Let's see what we got. I can always go to the Argon. I'm going to take this to the Argon shipyard and, and pick up the large slot. So we'll just do... Uh, why did... They, I'm surprised they sell uh, flak here. Huh. I thought that would just be uh, the Argon that sold that. Now oh, what do I know? All right. So I still... Pulse are... It's still so hard not to go with Pulse. I do want a couple Plasma... Wait, where where was this one? Let's see. Is this is this the one underneath? There's the large. Oh, this is here's the one. So yeah, forward facing. I want that to be plasma, definitely. This one's up here. This is more anti fighter. So we'll go with uh, pulse. Turrets, shielded, pulse turrets, shielded. All right, these are underneath ones. I guess I'll go I'll stick with pulse for these. I'm not. I still have. I'm still not a huge fan of the uh, the flak. I need to really get some testing into it. And rear. We'll just go with Pulse. And we'll, we'll go to the Argon shipyard, as I said, and, and grab the large, a large turret there. Crew, let's get a fair amount of crew because they can help rep with repairs. And we'll grab 15 Marines. You never know what ship I might come across. Software, let's do a docking computer. Since this is going to be my, my flagship, we'll uh, go all out with the, the software. Turret groups, I'm missing. Oh, yeah, I'm just missing that. Good there, good there. This is about 7 million credit ship. I think it'll be worth it. If not, who cares? It'll be fun. All right, let's add it to the shopping list and confirm. Okay, my uh, buffalo is ready. Very split-like, of course. Here's the bridge. There's the captain, currently the captain. Let's go take a look front. So there's stations up here. And there, on the other side, too. All right, okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. 
So here's our ship. Look at this thing. It is amazing looking. I like it. Look at those engines. Whew, big. The split ships are just crazy. I can't wait to see the Terran ships in, the feed in a couple weeks. And there's the bridge. We're right up there. See, we got some turrets down there. Some more of our turrets. The shields aren't great on this. I mean, I can, I can put a shield mod on them. But uh, I really want it for the turrets. So I'm going to make a little... This will be my, also fleet, my fleet carrier. And we'll do another video on that when we get some combat action with it. All right, let's 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 go take a look at the... Oh, that's cool. A little holographic display. Let's go take a look at the docking area. Oh, very nice. So here's the dock. Since it's not a true carrier, I don't believe we can dock out whatever that front port was. I was hoping there'd be more area to walk around. Can I jump anywhere? No. I cannot. I was hoping I could walk to the front. Of it. Like, if these catwalks were accessible, that'd be cool. But, no, my, my walking area is pretty limited. But there's the bridge up there. I mean, this is still pretty fast compared to my Incarcaccio. Back to the bridge. Let's check out the ship information real quick. Let's see what kind of speed we can get here. Yeah, the uh, the Incarcaccio I have has a lot more space, but it does not go 200 meters per second. <laughs> not at all. Okay, let's, uh, we need to go to the Talati shipyards. Where are they? Okay, we are on our way to the Talati shipyards. We're going to pick up new shields. Then we're going to go to the Argon shipyards and pick up uh, a, a large cabin ship weapon turret. Weapon turret. This doesn't have any sort of main batteries or anything. All right, we are at the Talati shipyard, so let's let's give ourselves some respectable shields. Some Talati Mark II. So we're going to go from 33k to 50k, which a better recharge rate too so um it's more expensive but not not by much compared to what the ship costs so to no question there let's upgrade that and while we're here let's go to the modules Greetings. oops okay Oddly enough, you know, the trader's place was not on the menu. So we are going to try to get to it, you know, walking. Hey, are you worth anything? The trader's corner. Ship dealership. There we go. So from my ship, I couldn't get to it. But from here, I can. Workbench. All right. Now we can do engine mods and shield mods. Let's look at the shield mods. These are the turret shields. This must be the main shield. Let's install a capacity mod. 17%. Not bad. Puts us up to 59k. We got some money to gamble, though. 6%. No. 6. No. 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 Oh, I should have taken that. I should have taken the... Uh, 
17%. There we go. We're back. So I'm going to take that. And now let's look at the engine mod here. So we have a lot of options. I did a video on engine mods, but I think... Uh, what's our travel time? Our travel speed's 2873. Now we can go upgrade our engines a bit with the Paranid. But we can also uh, do our forward thrust. That's the nudger. That comes up with uh, two more pro other properties that might be negative. If we do the pusher, we just get the one, but we don't. But it's much less uh, risky. So this puts our speed up. Oh, we definitely want to reassemble this. 5%. No, no. Oh, I should have taken it. 6%. 9%. So we'll get 9% extra on our speeds. Okay, with the shields upgraded, and the engines are pretty much as good as they're going to get. Also, tip, if you want to get new engines, you have to take the mo modifications off first. But we uh, all we have left to do with this buffalo is go fit it out with a... Uh, a, a large turret and we're gonna head over and do that right now we've arrived at Argon Prime shipyard good job Ra got us there safely I just kind of hung around all right let's uh, get this upgraded okay so we got our shields we're good there we just need our last part piece the large turret what should we do for this? I'm thinking plasma. Although beam, I don't know if beam if they've if it's good again. Let's just go with plasma. Yeah. And we'll 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 stick with that shield. So that's a hundred fifty k. Not too bad. Add that to the shopping list. Confirm. Okay. So our uh, buffalo is good to go. Um, next video with this ship will likely be a combat video once we get it all uh, fitted out with some fighters and see how it goes. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.